Alright, so in today's Roblox One Piece game video, we'll actually be going from a noob to the one and only Charlotte Katakuri. And this is actually one of my noob to pro videos, and these videos do take a really long time to make, so please subscribe. And anyways, to become Charlotte Katakuri in Roblox's One Piece game, we'll actually have to complete a bunch of steps, but there's also a step that you guys have to complete right now, and that's to real quick hit that like button and subscribe. Let's try to get like 3,000 likes on this video, though. Anyways, just subscribe and yeah. Let's get right into the steps. Okay, so here are the steps we're gonna have to take to become Katakuri, and it doesn't matter what order we complete these steps in, we just have to complete them all by the end of the video to become Katakuri. So, step one is to actually get Katakuri's Devil Fruit, which is actually the Mochi Fruit or the Dough Fruit or whatever you guys want to call it. Though, we're actually gonna have to grind for a lot of cash, then actually spin the merchant for the Dough Fruit. And now, let's move on to step two. So, step two is to get observation hockey but that's not it we're also gonna have to level up our observation hockey stat to a really high level because katakuri does have some really really strong observation hockey so strong that you can actually see into the future now step three so step three is to actually kill the katakuri boss a ton of times because after killing him there's actually a pretty small chance that he drops his scarf accessory and yeah so basically when we put the scarf accessory on it will give us some you know pretty cool stat buffs so yeah we're gonna have to get his scarf accessory boss drop and now let's move on to step four which is to actually kill katakuri a ton of times again but this time it's actually for something different so if you guys don't know after killing the katakuri boss there's a really really small chance like pretty sure it's like a five percent chance or one percent chance i don't even know the chance though basically it's really rare but he does drop his trident weapon so we're actually gonna have to kill katakuri a ton of times for his mogra trident weapon or however you pronounce it though yeah i feel like that's enough steps for now we can make up some more along the way though hopefully you guys enjoy it and let's just get right into the video okay so if you guys don't know all of my really hard and difficult noob to pro videos i always do them on my main account so that's what we're going to be doing for this one since this is probably going to be my hardest noob to pro so far so i have some spare cash left over for my noob to mark with the phoenix video so let's just start spinning for the mochi fruit right now so here we go And okay, I just realized we actually just ran out of cash, so that's pretty unfortunate. Though let's actually just start grinding Katakuri for cash, his trident drop, and his scarf. So yeah, let's head over to Katakuri. So here we are, the Phoenix Nest Island. Anyways, I only have the Phoenix fruit because I did do a new Tomarco video before this video. So let's start grinding Katakuri. Okay, so after a bit of grinding, we have 62 million cash, meaning we can actually go spin for a fruit twice. So let's just head over to Logetown. Here we are, Logetown, and hopefully we're lucky enough to actually get the mochi fruit during uh, you know these two spins that we have. So hopefully we're able to get lucky. So here we go, first spin, blah blah blah. Yes, and let's see what fruit we're we gonna get. And we just got the a fruit. Okay, berry fruit. That's um pretty bad. It's common fruit. But anyways, we still have one more spin. So here we go. Let's spin again. And blah, blah, blah. Yes. And let's see. What fruit are we going to get? And we just got the ice fruit. Okay, so uh, what I'm probably going to do is I'm actually going to try trading my light fruit and my ice fruit for a string fruit. Because the string fruit will probably help us grind just a lot faster. So yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so we found ourselves a trade. So here he is. He just joined the game. Major shout out to him. Shout out to Lirius. Here he is. Okay, so once again, just major shout out to this dude because there we go. We just got, uh, got string fruit, so that's pretty sick. So let's actually head over to this dude over here and reset our phoenix fruit, then eat the string fruit because this fruit will basically just let us, uh, you know, grind just a lot quicker. Now, time to eat string fruit. Here we go. Boom, ate it. Now, let's just head over back to Marco's Island and yeah, continue grinding. Okay. 
Okay, so we're back at the Phoenix Nest Island, so let's just keep grinding Kata Curry and Marco till we have around 100 million cash. Okay, so we just killed Karakuri, but we just got really lucky. As you guys just saw there, we actually got his candy scarf drop. So that's pretty lucky. So let's put it on and see what it does. So uh, let me actually just search up what its stat buffs are. Okay, so I just searched it up and apparently this accessory is super overpowered because it gives over 100 fruit stats and around 100 hockey stats. So this uh, scarf accessory will actually increase our fruit damage a ton. Do we actually have 100 million cash? I meaning we can actually head over to Logue Town and spin for the mochi food so let's just do that here we are low town and i'm still pretty surprised on how quickly we actually got this uh, candy scarf accessory though here we go time to spin for the merchant dude so first spin what will we get imagine we actually the mochi food because that would be insane because that thing is super rare and bro no way no way dude we just got the dark fruit. We can easily trade this thing for the mochi fruit. I'm pretty sure this is the most valued fruit in the entire game. This is probably the rarest fruit in the entire game, dude. Okay, I'm, I'm failing to believe this. Did we really just get the dark fruit, dude? And now we got the gas fruit, which is, um, you know, it's a uh, rare, I believe, though. Still, we got the dark fruits. I'm pretty sure this is like a mythical fruit, dude. Like, it's above the legendary tier, even. So, that's insane, dude. Anyways, here we go. Because uh, what I really want to do is get the mochi fruit from the actual merchant uh, instead of trading. Though, you know, if we're not able to get it, we'll trade the dark fruit for the mochi fruit. Though, I really actually do want to keep this dark fruit because, yeah, the dark fruit is super rare. So, yeah, I don't even care if we got the worst fruit in the game, invisible fruit. We literally got the dark fruit, dude. I still can't believe it. How lucky did we get it? Someone comment below how rare the dark fruit is because I'm pretty sure this is like a. 1% chance to get this or something like it's extremely rare though let's just go back to grinding Okay, so we just killed Katakuri and we actually got a second candy scarf, which is pretty insane. Though, anyways, we're just trying to get the Mogra Trident and a bunch of cash for the Mochi fruit now. So, yeah, let's keep grinding. Okay, so we've got 100 million cash, so let's just head over to Logue Town to spin for the Mochi fruit. Alright, so we're at Logue Town, so I'm just gonna put this on like two times speed, and yeah, I'll stop once we get the mochi fruit. Okay, so we just spun off all of our cash and still no mochi fruit, so let's just go back to grinding for the Mogra Trident and cash. Okay, we're back at the island where Karakuri is, so yeah, what's it grinding? Okay, so we've got a hundred million cash, so yeah, let's go spin. So here we go, let's just start spinning and hopefully we got some good fruits. Ooh, we just got a legendary fruit, we actually got a quick fruit though. Anyways, let's keep spinning.
Okay, so on our last bin, we just got the chop fruit. So anyways, let's keep grinding for some cash. All right, we've got 100 million cash. Here we go. Time to spin and hopefully we get something good. So let's go. Go first, spin. Let's see what we're gonna get. And merchant, blah, blah, blah. Yes, and we just got, wait, what fruit is gonna be? Hopefully it's the mochi fruit and, oh, well, it's the sand fruit. Pretty cool. So let's just put this on like two times speed till we're out of cash. Okay, so we're out of cash and our last spin, we actually got a legendary fruit, the phoenix fruit. So anyways, let's just go back to grinding. So we're back at this island, but this is actually some good news. So basically, right now, an update actually just happened in this game. And basically what this update did is, it actually added a little mini event. And this mini event is actually really helpful because it actually made it that all drops, so all weapon drops, boss drops, everything is three times easier to get. So hopefully we're able to get, uh, you know, the Katakuri trident drop soon. So yeah, let's just grind. Alright, so we just actually killed Marco and we actually did get the Phoenix Scroll drop, but still no Katakuri Trident drop. So it's kind of crazy how we got lucky enough to get the Phoenix Scroll drop, but not the Trident. So, anyways, let's just keep grinding. Okay, so we have way over 100 million cash, so let's head over to Logetown and spin for a fruit. Okay, so here we are at Logetown, so yeah, let's just start spinning, so here we go. Alright, so still no mochi fruit, so let's just go back to grinding. Alright, we've got 100 million cash and we're at low time because it's time to spin for some fruits and please be the mochi fruit or the dough fruit whatever you guys want to call it and it's the rubber fruit wait what we just got the oh i'm pretty sure the rubber fruit is actually pretty rare dude I'm pretty sure this is like a legendary fruit so we got lucky but unfortunately that's not what we want i mean it's actually pretty crazy we got and not legendary Pretty sure the rubber fruit is actually a mythical fruit, like so in the same tier as the dark fruit. So it's crazy because we got two mythical fruits so far, but still no mochi fruit, which is uh, pretty sad though. So whatever, here we go, last spin and we got the berry fruit. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do at this point is I'm actually just gonna trade my dark fruit and the rubber fruit for the mochi fruit. So yeah, let's do that. All right, so we've gotten ourselves a pretty good mochi trade. So we're gonna give them the dark fruit and a bunch of ads or this dude right here, the best gamer 508 mochi fruit and just major shout out to the dude because you know he's giving us mochi fruit uh the, here we go so here we go here's our offer the dark fruit rubber fruit quake fruit and candy scarf and boom he accepted and let me just thank him thank you so much dude okay and yeah this dude's a legend shout out to him it's time to eat the mochi fruit here we go guys we're eating it and boom all right so i actually found a trade 
or the Mogra Trident as well. So that's pretty good. So we're actually going to be giving this dude the Phoenix V2 scroll and the Phoenix Fruit. So yeah, with those two, they should be able to get the Phoenix V2. So here's the dude. Let's just have him a trade. Major shout out to him, Lotus on Shrooms. Just big shout out to this dude. He's, uh, you know, giving us a Mogra Trident. So here we go. Uh, Phoenix scroll and Phoenix Fruit. Here we go. And he's giving us the Mogra Trident. That's pretty sick. So here we go. Time to accept the trade. And yeah. Thanks so much, man. So there we go. We just got the Mochi Fruit and the Mogra Trident. Let's uh, actually find the Mogra Trident. Where, did, uh, where is it? Here we go. Okay, so now that we've actually gotten the Mochi Fruit and the Mogra Trident, let's just showcase them real quick. And after the showcase, we'll actually head over to Katakuri and try to defeat him without cheesing him with this build. So basically, it'll be Katakuri versus Katakuri since we're basically, uh, you know, basically Katakuri now. So here we go. Let's actually showcase the weapon first. So my sword size isn't uh, that high, so it shouldn't be doing too much dam uh, damage. So here we go. That's actually some pretty good damage, even though my sword stat is pretty low. There we go. Those are the two moves of the weapon now. Grilled Mochi, first move, the Mochi Fruit. That's some pretty good damage. Next move, Mochi Waving. Okay, that's some big damage, dude. Now, third move, the Mochi Broad thing. And okay, that's some insane damage. Now, for the ultimate move, Buzz Cut. Let's see this. And boom, boom, and boom. That just did an insane amount of damage. I actually did almost one shot all of them, which is pretty insane. Let's actually head over to Katakuri and fight him. Okay, and I accidentally uh, kind of forgot to showcase the last move of the Mochi Fruit, or the first fruit. I mean, not the first fruit, but the first move is Mochi Roll. So it's probably one of the coolest looking moves. Look at that little burning effect on the ground while we're driving. That's pretty cool. Definitely love this mobility move, though. Yeah, let's head over to Katakuri. So here we are. Let's turn on our hockey and, yep. Our Diablo Jambe as well for that nice extra damage. And here we go. Let's get the Katakuri quest and it's time to fight him. So let's actually uh, get up to him using our Mochi roll if we can. And okay, I really just like love this move, dude. Like it looks awesome. And here we go. Exit. And okay, I love the way you exit as well. Here we go. This is our observation hockey. Then we'll get him with our. Um, I'd say let's use our Mochi broad first. So here we go. Let's use our observation hockey. And here, Mochi and Amone. Okay, and that does some pretty good damage, dude. And here we go. Buzz cut as well. Boom. Pretty nice damage here. Grilled mochi and mochi wave. And here we go. We did our observation hockey as soon as we can. Okay, never mind. He just killed us though. We actually did a pretty nice amount of damage to him. So yeah, let's put this on like two times speed. And there we go. We just finished him off. That was actually uh, not too hard, so yeah. We've literally become Katakuri in One Piece game on Roblox. We have his Pale Scarf, his Mogra Trident, we have Armin Hockey, we have the Mochi Fruit as well. And we also have some really, really strong observation hockey as you guys can see. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like and sub and comment below who I should become next in One Piece game on Roblox. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.